Hello friends, welcome to another episode of Magnum Videos. Today is an apple kind of day and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about and we're going to get started right after this. What you're looking at here is my 2010 MacBook Pro. It has been a workhorse. It has uh, served me well over the last 11 years. But as you can see, it's kind of rocking because the battery needs to be replaced because batteries swell as they get older. The 5 key no longer works. The Z key no longer works, the hyphen key no longer works, and the T, which I use a lot, uh, isn't working very well. It will work if you beat the heck out of it multiple times, but uh, most of the time if I need a 5, I have to go find a 5 in another document, copy it, and then paste it in to where I need it. So <laughs> this... I have put up with this uh, long enough, I think, so uh, we're going to retire it, and uh, I just got home a minute ago with a new MacBook Pro. I spoke to my friend Rex Covington, the Lone Star writer, when I was considering different models and I was looking at one that was a uh, eight gigabytes of RAM and he said no if you're going to be doing movies or video uh, you need 16 gig so I altered my choice and I went and picked this up it's a 16 gig of RAM 512 gig of memory it's the i5 it's not the new M1 chip so uh, Unfortunately, the new MacBooks don't come with uh, an SD card reader, but I did also pick up a little uh, docking unit here that has the SD, micro SD for my drone, uh, a lot of other uh, USB and HDMI uh, inputs, so we'll be using that too. But the next thing we have to do is migrate all the data from the old computer to the new computer. And we're going to go downstairs to do that because I want to show you the migration process and we need to be close, as close as possible to the router because we're going to transfer this through Wi-Fi. So I'll meet you downstairs in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Okay, we've got the password set. And uh, it says it's looking for applications and documents to transfer. We have nothing on the status bar. This one says transferring your information. Michael Broadway's MacBook Pro to this Mac. So it is retrieving the system receipts, whatever that means. I don't know for sure. But anyway, it, the only option on here is to cancel. There's nothing to continue. So I guess it's in the process and uh, current connection is Wi-Fi. It doesn't give us any idea of the time remaining. So I'll just let that sit there and work. And it's about two o'clock in the afternoon and we'll just see how long it takes and I'll be back when it gets done. All right, I thought I would check back with you. When I first, uh, when I last left you, the uh, remaining time uh, data came up and it told me that the migration would take 773 hours and 21 minutes. That's like a month. So I for the next two hours it didn't change and I thought maybe I did something wrong so maybe I should cancel it and go back and try it again but I just left it and after four hours I checked it again 
and it had changed to about four hours and 23 minutes remaining. And uh, so far, so far it's been six hours since I started the migration. And uh, the last time I checked, just a moment ago, it showed that there's about 58 minutes remaining. So hopefully that's accurate. And it has been kind of flipping around as I looked at it for about during a 15 second time span. It changed from an hour and 44 minutes to two hours and 10 minutes and then back to an hour and 12 minutes and then to 58 minutes. So I guess it uh, it changes depending on what it's doing and how long it thinks it's, it's going to take. Anyway, it should be done tonight and after it finishes we will go back upstairs to the office and I will hook it up and turn it on and see if everything migrated successfully or not and I will get back with you as soon as I find that out so stick around all right we're back upstairs uh, it's the next day it didn't take that long because it was finished uh, last night but uh, we came back upstairs because I wanted to show you the results and talk to you about what happened so we're gonna open this up the new Macs come uh, actually the older ones too they turn on when you open the lid so you don't have to push any startup buttons unless you have a fingerprint ID on it which will require you to do that I think so it doesn't uh, doesn't take exceptionally long to start up a lot less time than my old one did and just wanted to let you know that I'm very happy everything migrated flawlessly except for a couple of items the the things I was concerned about was my Safari bookmarks those all came across just fine the Mac does come with Safari installed so when I look at my bookmark favorites they're all there um, so that was I was happy about that the uh, the two items that didn't transfer or didn't uh, install were my Photoshop which I'm going to miss although I still have it on the old computer Photoshop would not install because the Catalina uh, operating system and I think High Sierra and Sierra and others on back further in time will not install anything that is a 32-bit uh, program so it wasn't able to in import that or install it so I'm going to be without Photoshop on this machine but I understand there are other photo editing uh, programs that I use primarily for making my thumbnails for my videos. Uh, one of them is GIMP. I don't know if, if you've had any uh, experience using that. It's a free download. Uh, I hope you'll leave a comment down below and let me know because I need to find something that I can use on this computer so I don't have to be bouncing back and forth between this one and the old one. So if you have any other free software that you'd like to recommend for making thumbnails, let me know that too. The uh, other thing that didn't import was Microsoft Office, uh, which I use for Microsoft Word and Excel spreadsheets. The Mac comes with pages and numbers and PowerPoint, I think, installed so my word documents and my excel documents open perfectly in those two uh, programs so that's not an issue i don't need to worry about getting uh, replacements for microsoft office i'm happy with pages and numbers because i've used those before so other than that i think everything uh, migrated over and it's all uh, linked to where it needs to be linked so I'm very pleased with the way it, way it did I have a have to give a hat tip to whoever 
created the Migration Assistant because they did a great job. It worked perfectly for me. And uh, lessons learned is the last thing I want to talk about here. If you get a new uh, MacBook or iMac or whatever and you need to migrate your old information over to the new, the first lesson is be patient. 773 hours transfer time showed up on my uh, computers within the first few minutes and it stayed there for about four hours so I was concerned that I had done something wrong or that it was never going to get done but shortly after that that number dropped down to about four hours and then an hour or two later it dropped down to two hours and then down to one hour so be patient. Patience is a, is a virtue, grasshopper. So don't think you've done anything wrong. Just let it run its course. Uh, and I think that's about the only lesson learned on this, uh, except for the fact that some of your programs may not install, but there are alternatives uh, for most of them, I think. So that's it for now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you've got any comments or questions, please leave them down below. Subscribe if you like videos like this. And uh, hit that like button because that lets YouTube send this video out to more viewers. And uh, I don't have anything else to say at this point. I need to get working on this computer. As you can see here, one, one other thing, let me show you this real quick. Uh, Bear with me, it'll just be a second. As you can see, I am, uh, my iMovie imported okay, and I'm working on this particular video right now. I've got some of it done, and this particular sequence is going to go right there when I get done. So until I speak with you again, and even after that, you stay focused.